The Miami Dolphins finished last season as one of the hottest teams in the league, but their dismal start to the year brought attention to some of the gaping holes in the roster. There was depth chart work that was going to have to be done regardless, but now that there is a new head coaching regime in town, there isn't much that won't be subject to change. The defense that carried the team through its seven-game winning streak should need minimal attention, but the offense will be undergoing an overhaul over the next couple of months. The Dolphins will have some of the most cap space of any team in the NFL, and they will use it to address their needs once the free agency period begins. What position groups are going to be the focal points for Miami front office? Here is a list of the four most important. Offensive line. The Miami Dolphins have holes to fill all over the roster, but there is one that requires an extreme makeover. The offensive line was abysmal in 2021. They were historically bad, with members of the unit routinely ranking as some of the worst performers of the week. The running game was nowhere to be found in far too many contests, and whoever was playing quarterback was often running for his life after just a second or two of freedom in the pocket. What had potential to be a high-powered offense was instead a dud, and a vast majority of the blame goes to the boys up front. Jesse Davis was supposed to be the veteran that led the young but talented group, but he was downright bad. High draft picks were used recently on Liam Eichenberg and Austin Jackson, neither of whom showed much of any promise until far too deep into the season. There are some pieces to work with, like Robert Hunt, but the Miami Dolphins should stop at nothing to acquire legit veteran linemen to protect their young quarterback. With their heaps of cap room, the team should be chasing guys like Brandon Scherf and Cam Robinson in free agency. They could also use some of their draft capital to pick a prospect, but those have turned into projects more often than not in recent memory. Running back. Much of the blame for the Dolphins' dismal rushing attack can be directed toward the aforementioned offensive line, but the backs that carried the ball didn't do much to help their own cause. It wasn't until week 15 that a Miami running back eclipsed 100 yards in a single game, and the player who did so wasn't even on the active roster until that contest. So it goes without saying that the run game focused Mike McDaniel will do what he can to overhaul the position. Miles Gaskin has another year left on his contract, but the Dolphins would save over $2.5 million if they were to cut him due to his next to nothing dead cap hit. Garrett Dokes and Lynn Bowden Jr. are the only other backs under contract for 2022, though neither of them touched the ball last season. Miami won't be shy when it comes to acquiring players for their backfield. There are a handful of solid free agent options, and look for the franchise to buck their recent trend of not addressing the position in the draft. During the Brian Flores era, the Dolphins didn't draft a running back before the seventh round. The last time they took one in the second round or higher was over 10 years ago, Daniel Thomas, 2011. Linebackers. The defense is currently the crown jewel of the franchise, and there shouldn't be more than a couple of tweaks done to the unit this offseason. But if there is one question mark that the defense may have, it is their linebackers. They're set at middle linebacker, having signed Jerome Baker to a long-term deal last year. He started out the season a bit slow, but came on with such force in the second half that he earned AFC Defensive Player of the Month honors for December. But the players flanking him on either side may not be around when the 2022 season begins. Elandon Roberts is an unrestricted free agent, with Calvin Munson and Andrew Van Ginkle being the only other linebackers under contract. The latter had a productive second half of the season in 2021, but his future as a starter is certainly not guaranteed. While the Dolphins have plenty of money to spend in free agency, the crop of linebackers is average. But there is some serious talent to be had via the draft, and Miami could explore options for moving up in the first round if they covet certain guys. Nicobe Dean led the Georgia defense to the national championship this last year, and could be worth the extra capital should the Dolphins want to grab him. Wide receivers. For the second straight off season, the Miami Dolphins will spend their time and money surrounding quarterback Tua Tungavailoa with weapons. Last year's additions were hit or miss, with Jalen Waddell breaking out and Will Fuller v costing the team $2.5 million per cash. There are only a couple of guys under contract. Waddle and Devontae Parker are the only wide receivers on the roster that caught a pass last year, and both main tight end targets are unrestricted free agents in 2022. The future of both positions is a huge question mark, especially if Miami chooses to shop Parker and move on from the oft-injured veteran. Fan favorite Mac Hollins will be seeking a new deal, and Preston Williams is a restricted free agent. It is arguable whether Lynn Bowden Jr. should be considered a running back or a wide out, but McDaniel will certainly have a plan for the Swiss Army knife. The Dolphins hold a late pick in the first round, an area which should be rich with wide receiver talent in this year's class. They could add a young college prospect to pair with Waddle, 
or they could even shop the pick for an established, veteran wide out like Calvin Ridley.